Um, good day, everybody. Uh, we are back again. Uh, we are back. I'm sure Sheikh is going to join me not too long, but uh, we need to continue. Uh, we know that yesterday it was the deadline for the signing of the players. Uh, but I'm going to start here. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I'm going to start here and say um, yesterday we saw the Copa de France uh, Cup. It was playing yesterday. And then uh, Messi was playing. Uh, he started the game uh, for the first time in 2022. And then uh, I watched the entire game, you know. Um, as always, Messi was a little bit average um, according to his standard. It was not Messi uh, 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 that I know. But what I've picked up with PSG, they don't play according to Messi's strength. Uh, the only player who seems to understand how Messi plays is Verratti. And you could see that Messi enjoys playing with Verratti. But these other players, they don't play to his strength. You know, Messi wants to give you the ball, bring it back. And uh, by, by delaying to give him the ball back, um, you know, you can see it, it, it takes him out. And the other player who really understands Messi, which is very funny, it's Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos understands Messi. Uh, maybe as a former Real Madrid player, he knows his strong points. So those are the people who play according to Messi's uh, strength. Uh, I will never be shocked when this contract comes to an end, Messi decides to go back to Barcelona. That will never shock me at all, um, unless they change. And I'm a little bit worried about PSG, whether they win the Champions League. They look like a very disjointed team. Uh, Donald Roma for me is, is the best goalkeeper as compared to Navas. Uh, you know, there's this young boy, Mendes, uh, the left back playing well, but the, he, there's still a lot of immaturity as far as Mendes is concerned. And then uh, Kempembe, yes, he's doing well at the back, uh, but we'll see when Ramos comes in what's going to happen. And I wonder what happened why Ramos was not playing. Are they saving him or there was some injury? Uh, related to him not playing. Uh, remember, mm -hmm. they are now preparing for the Champions League. Now, the news, uh, they have lost. They are out of uh, uh, the, uh, the Copa de France Cup. And then uh, now they are not going to do double because apparently when it comes to the league, they are leading. So, yeah, so they'll have to either win the league or they'll have to win the league and the Champions League. So we'll see what's going to happen. So, yeah. And then Xavi, um, Xavi Simons missed the final penalty. And then, uh, you know, Xavi Simons, I know him very uh, when he was still very uh, a very good player. I thought Xavi Simons was going to be a player that would be Lionel Messi because he used to play just like him. But I don't know. He, he's He's, he's different. He reminds me of uh, uh, Boyan. You know, Boyan at some point, I thought Boyan was going to be messy, but he just faded away. You know, he faded away. Xavi Simons, I'm a little bit worried. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, so those are the news in uh, France. Shakes, welcome to the show. And then uh, you. Uh, when you come in, I was already in. Yeah, welcome to the show. And then uh, can you kindly greet the viewers? Let's get the news. Yeah, thanks, Basobri, for having me on the show. And uh, um, greetings to all the viewers out there. OK, OK, Mshaga. Uh, the news, uh, it happened in, uh, in, in overseas. We saw that uh, uh, Aubameyang has joined Barcelona. Very good deal for Barcelona because uh, uh, the player decided to reduce salary drastically. And then, um, yeah, so those are good news. I don't know what's happening with Arsenal. I know that you're an Arsenal fan, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what's happening. They have just released so many players. Nathan Miles is one of the players who has been released. I don't know what to take. Do you really think Arsenal, um, they are fighting for top six instead of top four? No, Prasovri, we're definitely fighting for top four. 
We are definitely fighting for top proper. So, and one thing I'm happy about is Obama Young's exit. Uh, mm. uh, mm. uh, was becoming a problem in the train change room. I mean, he's the captain. He's supposed to be leading by example, but uh, his behavior was not setting an, an example to those youngsters there at Arsenal. So mm. I'm happy that he's gone. You know, there's also been reports about him. The reason why he didn't play for Gabon, he was going out partying in the up corner. So um, I'm, I'm I'm happy with his exit, you know, and uh, I wish he can he, he can he can come back with a different mind mind frame at Barcelona. I'm also a Barcelona supporter, so mm. I don't want him to go there and 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 mess up again. But mm. uh, he's a quality player. We all know him. He can bang in goals from Borussia mm. Dortmund. He's been mm. banging in the goals there. He was actually ahead of Lewandowski mm. when they were uh, um, at at Leverkusen. So. At, 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 at Dortmund, so mm. his quality is, is undoubtable, but his behavior and his discipline of the field is a big problem at the moment. I, I think he needs that change, and uh, maybe that's what he needs. He needs a change like that, and a, a big team like Barcelona. Maybe he'll start shining there again. Because well, uh, although they claim that he had an heart, heart issue, uh, and NC decided to come back. Uh, during the AFCON, um, that, that is what they are saying. But um, what gives me a glimpse of hope, he, he has always wanted to go to Spanish League. He has always wanted to play for Barcelona. So, and uh, the mere fact that uh, he decided uh, to, to reduce his salary drastically, uh, that shows that he's willing to play uh, for Barcelona. So, uh, maybe we may see a different uh, uh, player there. And then uh, we just wish him good luck. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, we also saw that a um, whole lot of players, um, you know, went away. Uh, Dali Ali. Um, Dali Ali, um, I mean, he has left, uh, what you call, um, um, uh, Tottenham Hospice. What's your take about that? Um, uh, uh, Dele, Dele Ali is, is, I think he's a form player and, uh, you know, he hasn't been getting that game time. Uh, so when a player like him doesn't get that game time and, 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 and gets a one chance, he, he doesn't get on that proper form that we know him to be. But we know as a form player, once he gets in it, he, he, he can be on fire, you know, so... He's, and, he, and he's still got age on his side, I think. So, yeah, he needs to go play regular football and show us uh, what we all know he can mm. he can deliver. Now, Liverpool made is the team that made the most expensive recruit by getting Luis Diaz. It cost them uh, forty nine million pounds from Porto, while Bruno uh, Gamares forty million uh, to uh, Newcastle from Lyon. Uh, Delhi Ali has joined uh, Everton uh, from uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Lucas Dinge, 25 million pounds uh, to Aston Villa from Everton. Chris Wood, 25 million to uh, Newcastle from Burnley. Rodrigo uh, Bentuka, uh, 20 million to Tottenham Hotspur from Juventus. A very good player, Bentuka. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, we also see that uh, uh, Karen Trippier, uh, you know, Newcastle emerged as the winner as far as this is concerned. They managed to get the signing of uh, Karen Trippier for 15 million, Dan Ben, uh, uh, 13 million. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, we also see that. Uh, and Nathan Peterson, 16 million, he joined uh, um, Newcastle. Liverpool were the third. Liverpool were the third biggest spenders as far as this is concerned. And then uh, Manchester City, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so those are the signings uh, that we saw. And then, uh, yeah, and then uh, what do you think? Uh, we know that uh, Ferran Torres has gone to Barcelona. And then uh, we'll see what's going to happen. And then do you think, like you said, uh, Arsenal will, will, will definitely survive? 
What do you think is a problem as far as Arsenal is concerned? Do you think they need to change a coach? I'm just asking that question and then hear your, your point of view. Uh, uh, definitely not. I think Ajeta has got something going on there at Arsenal. Uh, yeah. We've seen Arsenal being on the resurgence in the couple of uh, games that they've played now. Um, I mean, we were fighting for that fourth spot. Uh, it's going to take some time, you know. Pep had to come in, in in England and teach them before they they had to come in and teach them. They didn't know anything about Dika Daka. They believed you have to tackle all the time to play mm, football. Mm, but mm. we see Pep Guardiola right now. He, he, he The number of points he's winning by the league is turning it into a farmer's league because now you look at the league like uh, PSG, mm. where in France, where PSG should be winning all the games, but they still cannot get the number of points that uh, Man City is getting uh, 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 in the English Premiership. So Pep has done a good job with Man City, and I think Ateta needs to be given that chance. Um, he comes from the school of Pep Guardiola, and you can see that a lot, a lot is changing at, at Arsenal, and and slowly but surely they will get there. I mean, you can't uh, expect them to be at the level of Abu Vieira, Abu Bergam, Abu Thierry Henry. Mm -hmm. They don't have that personnel. But I think the coach has got an idea now, and uh, I'm I'm hundred percent behind Ateta, and I believe that Arsenal is, is coming up once again. You know, I I tend to agree with you. Ateta is a good coach. They need to be patient with him. Uh, my worry is in the management. That's where my more my worry is. Um, I don't know the guy who used to recruit players during the time of Asen Wenger. Why was he let go? You know, I think that guy. They should to talk to him. You know, if if I was in the leadership of Arsenal, I would fetch that guy even if he's not recruited because now he's old. Talk to him so that he can profile the players, not only him, and Asen Wenger too. Bring him close to the team. Uh, moreover, that Asen Wenger and Ateta, they get, they, get, they get along very well. Bring them closer to the team. Let them be part of the recruitment team of the team. And then Arsenal will go somewhere. That, that, that's my point of view. So I may be wrong, and then, uh, but I think the management, they have their own view. And we know that uh, Aston Villa, they have snatched uh, Philip Continuo from Arsenal, although on loan, Robin Olsen uh, was also uh, the goalkeeper, got from Everton. While we are still talking about Aston Villa, what's your take about Steven Gerrard? Do you think Steven Gerrard is gonna do well, or are you somehow, uh, remember, we are seeing now the new wave of coaches now, Steven Gerrard, yeah. um, and then uh, Ateta, and then Patrick Vieira, Frank Lampard has just joined Everton. So what's your take yeah. about this new wave of former players becoming new coaches? Oh, definitely. I'm happy to see how uh, former players are being given a chance. I mean, these guys have played the game at the top level. And to be given a chance to coach these teams uh, while they are still young and they have those fresh ideas, I think it's a good thing. And yes, you mentioned Lampard. He just got the job now uh, for Everton, uh, which Rooney also says he was approached about. So you can see that they are looking at giving uh, former players a chance to coach, you know. And uh, Steven Gerrard, definitely, what a, what a coach he is, is proving to be since uh, joining, uh, <clears throat> since joining uh, Aston Villa. I mean, um, uh, you can see the way they are playing. Uh, they're playing with confidence. I mean, they, they, you can see him as a manager that he's got the authority exactly like he was as a captain at Liverpool. So I believe in him. I believe that uh, 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 he will take the team to, to higher lengths. Oh, sorry, Shakes. Sorry, Shakes. I was muted. I, I wanted to know what's your take about Van der Beek. Um, he has left uh, Man United. Do you think it was a correct move for him? 
to leave Man United. Yeah, yeah. but so the, uh, when he came in, there was so much expected from him. You know, he's, he's such a quality player. I don't know what happened there for him not to get the game time he was supposed to get. And he was such a big money signing. Mm. So you expect him to, to be on the field and playing. So yeah, he hasn't got that game time that 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 he needs to get, you know. And uh, a move is probably the best decision for him to go and play regularly and get back to the form that we all know he can get to. What about the news that um, uh, Greenwood? Greenwood. Um, it is rumored that he, or it is alleged that uh, he assaulted uh, a woman. Um, remember, I still say it's an allegation. And then, uh, and Man United have come out strongly to say uh, people won't see him. So in other words, Man United going out showing that they are not going to tolerate ill discipline, uh, especially uh, players who don't respect women. So what's your take about that? This is the most devastating news I've had this week, you know, uh, with Greenwood. I mean, the youngster is such a talent, you know, mm. and uh, he, had the, 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 he had the world on his shoulders. I mean, such a young boy playing for Man United. And now this, this is just going to destroy him, you know. Mm. Uh, it's, it's very sad news. It's, 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 it's something we don't want to hear, you know, and, and I pray and hope it's just allegations. But, mm -hmm. you know, when they smoke, they fire. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you know, um, it's just terrible news that I had. And, 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 and let's hope for, for the best for the young boy, you know, that he's not destroyed forever because, you know, something like this can, can just end your career like this. It's such a blossoming career. And now you have allegations of rape and, 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 and assault. It's just terrible for the young man. Again, my mic again. Uh, again, for me, he was looking at a very exciting player. Uh, for me, he was a player who was going to replace uh, Cristiano Ronaldo very well. Uh, I hope, like just like you say, that these are just rumors and then uh, because he's a very talented youngster we need such players you know after watching him i had hope that no 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 there are still other players i know we are still hanging on messi and ronaldo uh, but it's always nice to see uh, up and coming players showing so that we can continue because that way football will grow you know unlike uh, we hang on if that was the case, we would be hanging on on Sheikh's Mangobanguena, we would be hanging on on Chinese Dadla. We still now, we, we see that. And that way, it helps the football to grow. So for me, it was an exciting a youngster. I, I wish him all the best. Let's go to Spanish uh, signings. Um, it also happened there. Eh? And then Alaves, they've signed uh, Jason as a free player from Valencia and Gonzalez Escalante uh, has been loaned uh, to them from um, uh, Lazio. And then uh, Atletico uh, Bilbao, they haven't made any signing and only it's Peru uh, Nascoliana uh, who has been loaned. And then uh, Atletico Madrid, people who came in is uh, Daniel Vaz. Have you seen this player, Daniel Vaz? From Valencia. From Valencia, yeah. yeah. He's a good so player. He's a quality he's player. player. He's a quality player. Daniel Vaz has joined them and uh, Renildo uh, Ren Mendaf from Lille has joined Atletico Madrid. Uh, players who have been uh, loaned out is Alex Colado. Alex Colado, I don't know whether he's the same player who used to play for Barcelona. I'm not sure about that. Uh, he has been loaned to Granada. Karen Trippier, this, this really shocked me. I still love Karen Trippier. I don't know you. He went to Newcastle United for 12 million. Well, uh, he went home. And then uh, also Ivan uh, Sapachovic, uh, Slovan, uh, Slovakia, uh, he went there for free. And then Barcelona, they've signed 
uh, uh, Ferran Torres from Man City of 46 million point three. Uh, is it Euro? I think it's pounds. And then Fabio Blanco, Eintracht Frankfurt for 840,000. Adam Traore uh, from Wolves. And then uh, out, Sergio Aguera, retired, Quintino loaned. Um, Inaki Pena loaned. Now, very interesting. Here. I don't see Dembele. <laughs> yeah. I don't see Dembele on this list. So, what's your take, Jake? Yeah, but, uh, I was watching uh, 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 very patiently yesterday to see what happens with Dembele because he was looking for a move out. Uh, but that didn't happen. Dembele staying put. At Barcelona, it's not going to happen. He's staying at Barcelona. Uh, one of the most interesting signings for me for Barcelona, uh, excuse me, for, yeah, for Barcelona is uh, Traor, uh, is the boy from, from, from Wolves. You know, I, what a strong boy, the pace he's got, you know, he's going to bring another dimension for Barcelona. I'm looking forward to seeing him there with Ferran Torres. It's going to be very interesting. That's that's one of my big signings in the Spanish La Liga. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing Barcelona with that man. I've always loved uh, Traore. And I always ask myself, how did Barcelona loan this player? You see, the problem with Traore is this. Traore plays well. All right? He can attack. He's quick. His problem is one. He's finishing. <laughs> Even if you can look his numbers in terms of goals, they tell you the story that he's finishing. But the good thing about him, he puts pressure. Now, the question is, who are you going to play? Are you going to play Traore or are you going to play Tembele? What's going to happen? Xavi is has a very interesting position now. He's got Traore. If Ansu Fati comes back, he's got that. And then uh, uh, Ferran Torres, you know what? He's at the very interesting position where he is. What's your take? Yeah, I think I think those are good headaches in football. That's what you call good headaches when you have so many players who can play in certain positions. Mm. Now it's it's for you now at training to to see how you can how how you can how you can play these 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 patterns uh, or, or, or these combinations, how you can switch the combinations. You've got Tembele, you've got Traore, two players who are speedy in mm. the wings. You know, maybe mm. Tembele can move to the left or they swap around, you know, but it, those are good headaches to have when you have players like that and you have Ferran Torres. He's a sleeping giant, that boy. That boy can bang in the goals. So as soon as he starts banging in the goals and he gets on his form, you know, we'll see a Barcelona that can compete with the likes of Real Madrid because right now, uh, Madrid are on their own, you know, Barcelona are on, are on a phase where they're coming back from from a, 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 a player like Messi who was everything was centered around him. Now he's gone. Now they have to start over again and, 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 and plan for the future. So I think it's time now for, for, for Barcelona to, to, to rise with the players that they have now. They can do something. Very interesting. Real Madrid, they, didn't, they haven't signed. No one left. <laughs> and then the Real Sociedad, they got Rafinha from PSG on loan. You know what? I don't know what to take off Rafinha, but let us not dwell much. I don't, I'm not interested on Rafinha. For me, yes, yes, fail. Savila, uh, they've received uh, Corona from Porto. Anthony Martial from Man United on loan. And out is Ibrahim uh, Amado released. Oscar Rodriguez Getafe uh, on loan. And then they release him to Getafe. And then a very interesting one is this one, Valencia. Now listen to this one. They have received Elijah Muriba from Leipzig on, on loan. What's your take about this? I think it's a good addition uh, uh, to the team, Prasobri. Uh, the boy is strong uh, uh, in, in the German league. So for, for him to come in here, uh, I think it's a good addition for the team and uh, he will add value there. Shakes, if, if, if you ask me, 
uh, Moriba should start asking himself, you know, uh, it was too soon for him to leave Barcelona. Uh, now you went to Leipzig, they don't play you. Uh, whoever advised him, remember at Barcelona, they said, no, we value you, we want you. Then the promise he wanted more money. What, what's your message? You are a former footballer. Don't you think that this boy is destroying his football? Now he's back to uh, La Liga for a lower team. What's your take? Yeah, I mean, uh, probably had age on his side. I mean, uh, when you have age on your side, you look more at making sure that you are on the field, you are playing, you know, and then maybe at a later stage in your career, that's when the money should come first. When when you think of the money, your, your move should be based on the finances. But right now, um, as a young player, he should have looked more into making sure that he's on the pitch so that he he picks up his market price uh, mm-hmm. uh, and gets the money that he wants after performing on the field. But then he chose to uh, go for the money and uh, he didn't get the game time. Now he's, he's back to square one. So I think most players should should should, should know that uh, at a age, certain age bracket, it's all about making sure that you're on the field, you're playing. And then later, you think about a contract which will secure you financially when you are about to retire. What about uh, Murata? Why is Murata not staying in all the teams? I know Barcelona wanted him. He's still an Atletico Madrid player. What is it? What, do, what is lacking in his play that makes him to be nomadic? Tomorrow is Real Madrid. Uh, tomorrow is Juventus. Tomorrow is this. And then even now he's not settled. Well, what's your take? What's the problem? I thought he's a very talented youngster. I believe I really believe he's a quality striker. He's a quality player. I don't know why the, all the moves all the time, but for me, he's he's a quality player. He's proven it uh, at Juventus this season. He's been banging in the goals, mm-hmm. and uh, he's doing it at Real Madrid. He's done it in the biggest teams. You know, he's won the Champions League. He's he's, he's done everything, and the, and the boy still's got a lot to offer. So I don't know why he's so unsettled, and there's no team. That, that 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 he settles with, you know. Uh, I really believe in his quality. Now, Shakes, uh, if a player does that, do you think it will affect him in the long run? I think he's been around. I mean, Morata is not a new player. We've seen Morata years and years back uh, banging in the goals. And mm. I think he's got that experience now. Mm. And uh, I think he's... He, he, he's He's adjusted to all the moves that he, he, he has been happening in his football career. And I think he's one player who's moved so many times, you know, uh, more than most players. So I think he's adjusted. And I've been happy with him uh, uh, this season. I watched him. He's been banging in the goals, you know, and, and it's, it's, it's quite commendable because he's been doing this for a long time. It's good to see that he's still got that pedigree to score the, the quality goals. The, 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 the rumors are saying Ronaldo is, is talking to Madrid to say he wants to go back, but that's a rumor. Uh, remember, Ronaldo loves Madrid. It's, it's not a secret. So apparently he wants to go back there. He feels that if he goes to Madrid, that's where he's going to be more happy. But that's a rumor. I still want to stress that one. Shakes, let's move on to our Messi special as usual. Uh, you know, all the time I'll share the message special. You know, Shakes, uh, I don't know what to say now about this guy. Uh, I watched him yesterday. Uh, I wasn't happy with the, the game that he played. Uh, although I still believe that, um, um, you know, they don't help him. I like what Paradis said. Paradis said, you know, if you play with Messi, he wants the ball. Play to his strength. Give him the ball. And uh, funny enough, I, I got so disappointed sometimes. I see Di Maria, who grew up with, with him, whom I thought would understand him. But hey, man, he, well, he was not playing yesterday, yesterday Di Maria. He, he too, you know, he runs with the ball, and Messi doesn't want that. He wants to give you the ball, bring it back. All right? So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, for me, he was not bad. Um, they, went, they, went, they were not playing to his strength. 
and I don't think Messi is happy. That's that's my feeling. Now, this is what Roger Federer says about Lionel Messi. You know, you go anywhere in any sport, they will always honor this guy. He said, I think Lionel Messi is the best player in the history of football. I hope that one day he can win the World Cup. I think it's everybody's wish. Uh, well, not the haters of Messi because the haters of Messi are there out there, you know. Uh, people like us, we are wishing that he wins the World Cup. I think that's what he needs now. He wins the World Cup. And still, I, I want to say no one, no one, I don't think the record of Pelo will be broken by anyone as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that record seems to it's going to be there for, for, for a very, very long time. I mean, winning the three World Cup, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy. How many players have won three World Cup? Anyone who has won two World Cup? According to my memory. Uh, yeah, there may be those like Muller. Has Muller won two World Cup? Um, no, no, no. I'm not so sure. No, 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 no. I think Pele is in his. When it comes to World Cup, it is Pele who has won three World Cup, and then uh, I think that's the only record that Messi won't break it. Uh, but this man, look, look at the record in history. No, not, not, um, yeah, yeah, or what or decade in history. He's the only player who's got the most golden shoe in history. He's the only player who's got the most Ballon d'Ors in history. The only player to live to win the, the Laura Award. The most FIFA player of the year. The most player of the tournament. The most IFFHS best player award. This man is, is in his own class. So if people still argue and say, Messi, what, 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 you know, uh, they're mistaken. Uh, and this guy is still going to prove it. I can tell you now. I can tell you now. You see, uh, as you said at some point, Shakes, I, I start to believe that Pochettino is not a good coach for PSG. At PSG, they need a, a good tactician. Zinedine Zidane, for me, will cut it. Uh, because they can't get Pep Guardiola. But Zidane Zidane will cut it. I don't know what's your take. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Messi, Messi is, is definitely also my favorite player of all time. You know, he's done everything there is to be done in the game. Uh, I mean, so many men of the matches, so many assists, so many goals, and uh, unbelievable magical player, you know. But he's grown up uh, at the La Masia, um, and and everything was centered around him at Barcelona. You know, uh, the game was centered around him. So it's a co it's totally different at PSG where he gets there and there's all these superstars and and they have to adjust to the way he's playing. So it's always it was always good from uh, 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 how it was at Barcelona. You know. And uh, it's disappointing to see PSG, like you're saying, you know, yesterday they were playing, but they don't show that quality, you know, when they're playing in the league uh, as they show in the Champions League. And, you know, football is not a switch. You can't just switch it on and switch it off, you know. So this type of performances that they are putting in in the league because there's not much competition there, it's going to affect them in the Champions League because you can't just put on the switch and say, now you are playing against a big team, now you're going to start playing, you know. So I think that's the problem with PSG. That machine is running sometimes, sometimes it's not running. And, 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 and in football, you need to be always at your best. There's no friendly game or there's no game that's less important than the other. So I think they are suffering from that at, 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 at PSG. And it's going to remain to be seen if they can turn it up come Champions League time, because Champions League is a big team. It's, 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 it's the big league. And, and they always do turn it up, though. They show that they have quality uh, with the likes of Mbappe. They, every time when it comes to Champions League, they want to turn it up. But it remains to be seen whether they're going to have enough 
to pull through in the Champions League because you've got Man City there, you've got Bayern Munich, you've got strong opposition, Real Madrid. So it remains to be seen. I'm worried about Pochettino. You know, you, what you have to do is to fine tune the personnel that you have and make sure that you find the right combination. Yesterday, he started with Mbappe on the bench. For me, that was a blunder. Should have put Mbappe so that he plays more with Messi and other players so that they can get to understand each other. I hope he did not decide that uh, Sergio Ramos should not play, keeping him for the Champions League. Because you know you're a footballer. You need to play more games so that you adjust quickly, all right? So Sergio Ramos was not there. Uh, Kellen Barbe was introduced later. Uh, you know what? Verratti is, is a superstar. In fact, yesterday Verratti was man of the match. And Todibo, still remember Todibo? The former Barcelona player? He was a really good player. Uh, Todibo and Verratti, you know, easily one of them could be man of the match uh, last night. So I have a problem with Pochettino. I, um, I think uh, PSG is too big for him. It's too big for him. And I don't know when Neymar comes in. When is he going to start adjusting? That's my opinion. I don't know what's your take, Shay. Yeah, but sobre, it's a tough one with, with, with PSG. Um, it, it's a league that we don't get to see a lot of, but obviously we're here because uh, uh, Messi is there. Uh, unfortunately, Neymar is, is still injured, you know. Mm. And uh, I just hope they gel, you know, for Messi's sake. We want to see Messi doing well, winning another Champions League and, 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 and getting that confidence back, you know, so that we can see the best player in the world being at his best, you know. And he needs, he needs players around him. He can't be the best alone. Uh, football is a team sport mm. and the likes of Verratti mm. are there. And uh, we need to see Pochettino trying to make these players gel and and and, and creating a commodity there uh, um, in terms of the players, you know, uh, the confidence of the players. I think that's what's lacking right now at PSG. In fact, to be honest, when it comes to confidence, I think his confidence is high. You know, when, when they're going for the penalty, he's the first one to go in and, and, and kick the penalty, the first penalty. So... And I was a little bit worried. I thought Messi would go towards the last uh, to see that goalkeeper. Remember, he's a former uh, Barcelona, I mean, uh, PSG uh, goalkeeper is on loan to Nice. And then, uh, and then they lost that cup and the goalkeeper stopped about two penalty, penalties. It was a good revenge for him to PSG. Um, so Messi still, like, you can see the, the level of confidence is high. You know, and then for, for, for him to take the first penalty, uh, I was a little bit concerned, you know, and then, but he did it. So, yeah, I'm not worried. Shakes, that's a Messi special, and I never introduced myself. My name is the Sobri Boys, or the Fatsi from the Big R. Shakes, thank you very much. And then uh, just bid the viewers farewell. That's all. Thank you very much for having me on your show, and uh, thanks to the viewers. Uh, uh, for watching us, please subscribe, uh, get your friends to subscribe out there. Um, let us know where we can improve and uh, to give you the best content. Thank you. Thank you, Shakes. Much appreciated. Thank you, bye.